Tyler, you had that fourth down throw to CD in the game on Saturday or Friday. Um, pressure moments. What is it about pressure moments that um, you think enable you to make plays like that? Uh, I, I think, you know, we got a lot of players that are really good. Um, for me personally, I mean, growing up watching football, um, wanting to be one of those guys to make those type of, you know, those type of plays, uh, sitting for as long as I have, you know, just hoping, you know, I, you know, I have the opportunity to do what I'm doing right now. Um, I think it's all, you know, it's all been worth it, uh, you know, and, and then for the, you know, just to come down to that, that last little fourth down conversion, uh, just trying to make a play, knowing that it's, you know, the game's over if we get this first down, which obviously <laughs> Coach Riley had the, you know, had faith in us to get the job done. And, um, yeah, for me, just trying to first read one there and then try to make a play, and we did. The game's over. Do you, in those moments when a play has to be made, mm -hmm. whether it's that play or other games, other plays, do you walk out on the field feeling different? Or, I mean, do you get a, is it different than maybe first possession in the game? Uh, no, it's just... I mean, I, there's no different feeling. It's just, I mean, at, at the end of the day, you just got to go out there, execute the play he calls. And uh, I mean, if I if I felt any different, that'd probably be probably be bad. But no, there's no. I don't feel really different. You know, when those types type of, type of moments come up. Kyler, you were real emotional after the Texas game last time. You've been telling us for a couple of weeks now that you don't really have any comment on the Texas game. Now that it's here, now that it's on the horizon, it's the next game. How eager have you been? Can you describe maybe how eager you've been to get back and get another shot at them? Uh, I, honestly, I haven't. Um, I haven't thought about Texas. Uh, for me, just go. You know, I've been. I've been going week by week, uh, day by day, trying to. You know, trying to trying to get to this point. Actually, I mean, it's just. Um, it's it's another game, obviously, uh, Big Twelve Championship. But uh, you know, if we don't go out and execute, you know, everybody's gonna be mad. So. Uh, at the end of the day, we just got to go out and have a good week of practice, and uh, come Saturday, we'll be ready. Tyler, uh, how big has Marquise Brown's increased health been for you guys, and how noticeable has it been for you personally with your guys' on-field connection as far as getting them to the ball in the right, getting them the ball in the right spots? And yeah, no, I think I told you a couple weeks ago. I, I don't, I don't really notice it. It's, if he's playing, he's playing. I think he's good. If he is playing, um, but I think I noticed it a little bit this past weekend just because he did. Uh, he did some stuff that you know he he usually does, uh, which is what we you know we, we need him to do. So um, glad that he's getting better. Uh, and I mean, he, he y'all saw Saturday, you know what he's capable of. Y'all seen it all year. Um, so I'm just glad he's he's 100. Dana Hoberson noticed it uh, Friday night. Yeah. He commented and he talked about how quick you and Marquise both are and how impossible to defend a team with two guys. That fast, who can break open a game like that? What kind of a what kind of weaponry does that give you guys? You got two guys that fast that can just you know go the length of the field in no time. I think I think this is something that we've we've known uh, since you know since we've both been here, uh, and I think it's just you know a lot of hard work being put in you know before the season uh, uh, you know built into this season. I think that just me and him both just going out there taking it. Play by play, um, you know we put a lot of hard work into this. But like, like I said, you know the job's not done. Um, we got another game this weekend. I mean, I, I mean, I, I'm I, I'm glad you know coach feels that way. Uh, but but we we got to we got to keep going. So as well as you guys are on offense, is there any sense of frustration if maybe you get inside the red zone, have to settle for a field goal instead of score a touchdown? Yeah, I, I mean I I don't like kicking field goals. Um, I don't like turning the ball over. I did it too much Saturday, but um, yeah, I mean, we try to every time we're on the field, we try to go score. That's the standard. Uh, that's always been the standard, and uh, it's gonna be. It's always gonna be the standard. So, Tyler, did you uh, did you have fun doing the Bo Jackson shoot? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Did you did you, uh, did you know about much about Bo? I mean, uh, as a, I mean, I know of you know, at baseball, football athlete, you know, the best athlete to you know ever live. But ah, uh, I mean, I know he went to Auburn. Um, stuff like that, but I, I've never really gotten to meet him though. So, you're, I'm no, I'm no expert. You're pretty good at this football thing. Um, could you really give it up after these two or three last games and move on with baseball, or do you think that you could you could play in the NFL as well the way this season has gone? Uh, I mean, I, I feel like I could play in the NFL, but as far as you know, giving it up uh, as of now, yeah, that's that's the plan. <laughs>
to play baseball yeah. and, and, yeah. and give up football completely. Yeah. What is it, is it game handshake and your interaction with Sam Ellinger after that game is going to get some attention this week. People are going to replay it and talk about it. Can you describe from your perspective what happened there? Um, you know, that's all I'll say about it. Uh, you know, if it was the other way around, I, I mean, I wouldn't have. You know, I would have been with my teammates, you know, but uh, for me, that's that's all that's all it was. I don't know if I follow your answer. I mean, I, if we would if we would have won the game, I wasn't going to run up to him, you know, in that moment. But I asked you last week about Tua, and you said you respect his game. Do you, how, how, how much do you respect Sam's game? <laughs> I have no comment on that. Who is faster, you or Marquise? Um... I've always I, I think I, I I know I can get Marquise in a forty, but after that uh, I think he's probably got it. <laughs> he, he said you wouldn't race him. Huh? He literally said the exact opposite. He said he knows he can oh. get you. No, he's he's got the like the long distance track type speed. Yeah, I don't. I've never ran track. Never wanted to run track. <laughs> that's uh. I, so I, I think that's how it would go. We saw a long block again by CD the other yeah. night. Yeah, how done important it. is that to his game, and just how big is that for this team that he can do that? I think it's I think it's taken for granted, and you know, around football, just you know, receivers blocking downfield. Uh, you know, I, I learned the importance of blocking downfield in high school. For you know, my coaches really emphasized you know receivers being physical, and uh, I mean he he definitely represents you know being physical downfield, and obviously you know we we need that so. One thing in, in that first game is Texas really seemed to kind of challenge you, uh, to challenge you to run the ball, um, and you weren't as established as you are now um, at running back. What I mean, having Kennedy now playing like he is, having Trey healthy and playing like he is, how much is this a better offense than it was the first time around because of that? Definitely. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, it's the beginning of the se- or middle of the season, so you know, you got to work some things out, figure figure yourself out as offense. Um, and right now, I feel like you know, we know what we're capable of. I mean, we've known what we're capable of, but it's it's one thing to you know say it and then do it. Uh, right now, I think we're you know kind of, we're playing pretty good football. So, uh, I you know I think they'll have to respect that, and we'll see what happens. Kyle, you obviously were at Jerry World last year for the title game, and you know, but Texas is usually the Cotton Bowl, October. Yeah. You know, middle of state fair. Russ is not going to pull up to the Cotton Bowl this time. I mean, is that is that going to be odd at all to play Texas under such di- different circumstances? Uh, uh, for me, I I don't think so. I think um, where I mean, it doesn't matter where we play them. Uh, you know, this is for the Big Twelve Championship game. Um, you know, we know what's at stake. Uh, we'll show up Saturday ready to go. What have you seen out of uh, Ben Powers throughout the year? Ben, uh, he's been a leader for the team. <laughs> um, man, he, I mean, he's been playing great, obviously. I mean, he, he was up for the Outland Trophy. Uh, but yeah, Ben, no, Ben, I, I, I really can't say enough. I mean, he's he's been a leader for us. Uh, he works hard, comes in every day, um, does his job, is accountable. Um, couldn't really, you know, ask much more for Ben. Uh, Why the chuckle about Ben? Hey, that's just my, that's my boy, so, yeah. <laughs> Is there anything that could change your mind about kind of the decision you have to make? I, I can't. I don't, I, don't got, I don't have any words for you. Let me let me ask you this: um, Are you have you been aware of you know the Heisman conversation, you versus Tua, and and how do you manage you know all that that Heisman talk with with playing your game? Uh, I manage it by just going out there on Saturday and playing. Um, that's that's really how I manage it. Um, I don't vote. Uh, I don't have a say so. So. Um, all I can do is go out there and play. You, have you got to watch two at all? Do you know anything about him? I watched on Saturday. Yeah, I watched Alabama, uh, Auburn. What'd you think? I think they got really good athletes. Yeah. Is it hard to block out the playoff talk now that we're one week away from that? And there's a lot of discussion about you specifically compared to Ohio State. Um, I feel like you know we do our job, we win, and uh, puts ourselves in a, you know the best possible situation. Uh, and our job is to win this week. If we do that, I feel like we'll be fine. Do you feel like your ability to run with the football separates you perhaps from some of the other uh, Heisman contenders? Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, I don't know. <laughs> You've had a couple of big runs in key moments, uh, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Does it? 
What? What do you want to know? Uh, is that something that, like, say, if you were a voter, um, the fact that you can r run and change a game, the fact that you can pass and change a game? Yeah, I know, Shane. Um, again, I don't vote. All I can do is go out there and play on Saturday. I mean, if they if they watch the games, if they see, you know, how I play or whatever it is, uh, I feel like, you know, do I feel like I deserve? I could, you know, deserve to win. Yeah, but uh, at the end of the day, all I can do is go out and play. We got to finish Coach Riley's press for starts in less than a minute. <laughs>